What's going on guys, it's Tyler here. And today I wanna to talk about one of my favorite soft plastics to use year round, especially for deep smallmouth tubes. You can fish a tube a bunch of different ways. You can fish it Texas rigged, Carolina rigged, you can rig it up on a flipping stick. But today I just wanna talk about the basic way to fish a tube on a tube jig head hook. Let's start with how you rig a tube up. So unlike a lot of other soft plastics, you actually have to put the hook in the tube before you tie it on your line. So all you're gonna do is spread these tentacles out as best you can, shove that tube hook all the way up the tube, and then you're gonna pop the eye of the hook out the side of the tube, and then you're gonna tie it on. After I tie it on, I like to take some scissors and just cut the tentacles so they're all the same length and sometimes they're stuck together and whatnot, so that'll free them up nicely. If I'm fishing a lake like this where it's generally pretty shallow, like 20 feet or less, there's not much current, I'm gonna rock a hook that's a quarter of an ounce, 3 16 or 1 8 usually, and I'm gonna use spinning tackle for that. If I'm fishing on a deeper river with a lot of current, targeting the smallies in like 30 feet of water, I will bump this up to like a 3 8 or a half ounce and I'll throw it on a bait caster. There's two main ways to fish a tube, but both involve getting this tube to the bottom. So the first way is just simply hopping it back to the boat. So you're gonna cast it out, watch your line, make sure that line's on the bottom, and then simply just hop it back to the boat like that. Tubes are really, really awesome on deep rock piles. And a lot of the time when smallmouth eat it, they don't thump it. They, they'll kind of just pick it up and move with it. Use your electronics, your side skin, find some rock piles and hop one of these babies back to the boat. The other way a lot of guys like to fish this is called stroking it. So what they'll do is they'll cast it out, they'll let it hit the bottom, and they'll give it a couple of hard rips off the bottom and hope for a reaction bite. When you're reeling the tube in, you'll probably see that it kind of will go like this and look a little bit unnatural. That's actually what you want because when it's down there, it gives it a really nice erratic action and it's just irresistible to smallmouth. The main colors I like are just some type of natural green pumpkin or if I have stained water like I have today, if I have blue green algae or it's just dirty, I try to throw one that stands out a little bit like this yellow one. But all in all, you can't really go wrong as long as you're on the bottom and you find some good structure. Tubes are an awesome soft plastic. You can fish them a variety of ways like I said, but if you get out there and you find some rock piles and you hop one of these back to the boat, especially if you're up north, I guarantee you'll catch a smallmouth. 